Hello gamers, welcome to another my video of the game called uh, Puzzles and Survival. So in this video I will focus mostly on beginner's tips and tricks for you and also of course I will tell you some advanced tips and tricks for your successful play of this really really interesting made game. So before we start with video I want to let you know that I'm in very very active clan because I'm very active player also I play this game every day so in my clan we are very strong players that they teach me a lot about this game so they teach me a lot about this game and still I learning many things from them so I wanted to tell you those tips and tricks for you that they m mentioned me and explained me to be successful in this game so i will tell you all these tips and tricks and until i describe every part of this game literally every part of this game so expect many more videos about this game with totally different tips and tricks and before we start let's see what is new in the huawei app gallery from the sponsor of this video they are very, they have very nice offers if you want to spend money in game and also you, there are offers if you don't want to spend money in game okay let's hear and let's get to the business later gamers before we start with video i want to let you know about new thing called game center and what are new campaign and giveaways in the huawei app gallery and in game puzzles and survival it's easy to join their campaign and giveaways from anywhere in the world if you don't have Huawei device, then you just download Huawei App Gallery on any Android device in official link in description of this my video. And then when you make account in Huawei App Gallery, you just must set country region to Italy, so you could join the campaign and discounts. And then just in game, link game with your Facebook account to transfer and continue progress in game if you already have account in game. Also, all these offers works if you play game on some emulators on your computer. So in Huawei App Gallery there is often campaigns and giveaways and at the moment you can check these offers. So as you can see, you can buy package in which you also get excellent hero Scarlet and that package is 80% discount so $1 only in Huawei App Gallery. And as you can see, there is offer where you get 10% cashback in Huawei points on all in-game purchases in puzzles and survival game, only in e-app gallery. This offer will last until 28 February, but probably will be continued on next month and one Huawei point is worth one in currency. Also there is another offer as you can see 4 coupons that give you big discounts in game. Also join us in Huawei App Gallery Discord group to see and participate in future giveaways, bonus codes in game and surprises and to have a lot of fun to, uh, and to receive many benefits. And when you join that our Discord group you will get 2 euro as welcome coupon. And in that our Discord group you can also get support and help for your purchases in game in Huawei App Gallery. And you can ask for more explanations for how works Huawei App Gallery, Game Center and VIP program. So new interesting thing in Huawei App Gallery is called Game Center and let me explain how it works. As you can see explanation you can pause video to read it more easily. So point is to apply to loyalty program in game center and so when you spend money in game you will get in loyalty rewards and eventually in VIP club. And so get a lot benefits, coupons and discounts. Here another explanation of it so please just pause video to read it more easily. So as you can see there are 9 levels of loyalty rewards and get many benefits from them. And when you spend $10 you will be already level 3 in loyalty rewards. And as you can see there are VIP program with 3 levels depending how much money you spend in loyalty program. Please for more information so VIP program and game center join us in our discord group where you can also for fun post upload pictures of your VIP level. 
and the link of that Discord group you can find in pinned comment and in description of my video. So type Game Center in search in Huawei App Gallery and then install Game Center. After you install Game Center, you will have new icon on your phone and then go to Game Center and apply to Loyalty Reward Program and there you can also find all these informations, loyalty rewards and coupons you earned as you can see in this picture. Here short video of how to download and install Huawei App Gallery and also check description of my video for more informations. So you can download Huawei App Gallery from the official link in description of my video and then when you make account you just must set country region to Italy so that you can join the campaign. Then go to the promotion and click on game puzzles and survivals and download game. Don't forget to bind your account you using for game from Facebook if you already there have account in game so to transfer and continue progress of your game. Thank you for listening and thanks Kovei for all these nice offers and campaigns. Enjoy the video gamers. Okay mates, so let's get started. So, first of all I wanted to make few videos for just beginners in game so to say those that just recently if you just started playing this game and so I collected these beginners tips from my uh, teammates in my clan that told they told me what is best to do in game and what uh, what I also this this find out to be good in game okay so let's get started so first of all the most important thing is VIP so VIP level is very interesting because it give you very very nice things give you when you level up but there is trick that you must know so I advise you to log in uh, as much often as you can in game because the more you log in in game the more points each day you will get to you level up your VIP level so it is done automatically when you when you log in game so no need to anything click on anything you will get those points so for example this is the amount of points i will get tomorrow if i log in so i strongly advise you to log in this game as much as often as you can so to get more points to get to vip level to increase your vip level because rewards are very very big as you can see reward is very very big when you level up your VIP level, but there is also a trick, you can buy VIP points from clan shop, but that is from other, some other video where I explain what is best to buy in clan shop. Okay, so log in each day for to increase your VIP level. Okay, let's go to the next tips and tricks. So, of course, always build your troops. I don't build now troops, for example, you can also upgrade your troops, but I don't advise you when you start playing this game, don't focus too much on, uh, on upgrading your troops because it is not so big difference. For example, it is not so big difference from tier 3 and tier 4 in strong, how much strong is troop. So you will just lose time and uh, resources from upgrading. So for example, if I click here, so here we are clicking here. I can upgrade all my those my troops that are weaker to higher tier to be stronger but I don't advise you will just lose time and you they will not be so much stronger so I mostly like when start playing this game as my teammates in my clan said they just told me to just build new troops so strongest troops you have just build them and later you can up upgrade those weaker troops and of course so always build your strongest troops let's build them build all then there is some trick i wanted to tell you to build all kind of troops so when you start playing this game you must build all kind of troops because some troops is good against some other troops and have some advantages against some other kind of troops so for defending it is always good to have different kind of troops and also <clears throat> later in game 
you will need to focus on just one kind of troop because you will have to upgrade your gear in and your talents uh, in your hero and also depending what your survivor your heroes you will going to use so and heroes you have that give you bonuses on some special kind of troops so later in game you can focus on just building one or two maybe kind of troops so to do not build all kind of troops to do not lose too much resources and too much uh, time you can just focus on one or two kind of troops that told me my clan clan mates of course okay let's go to the next tips and tricks and of course of course build traps here are traps i advise you to build traps all the time so to defend if someone attack your castle to defend very good so i advise you to build each kind of trap to have equally number equally number of them so i advise you for example to have for example like this trap i have 2050 100 and then have this one and this one so just make sure to have equally <clears throat> each kind of this trap because some trap is good against some uh, some targets and other traps are good against some other targets so that is why it is good to defend very good to have each kind of traps and try to be equally number of each type of traps and all the time build them all the time they are not expensive you can also upgrade them to to hire to they be stronger and also it is very very big amount that you have traps and so always always build them and also you will need to build traps to finish daily task also then we're going to the next tips and tricks for you of course we're going to the supply depot here we are and of course this is as you probably know give you resources so for example i need a lot wood and so in supply depot always take resources that give you that really need you for example i need wood so i will take just wood and don't advise you to buy any farther with diamonds also some advanced tips and tricks to i do not forget to tell you some advanced tips and tricks when you go to the rally someone for example made this rally okay this is for event rally and okay i cannot now show you but when someone make rally and have a lot of troops you just send one troop that is little trick in game that told me those experience play my clan mates so those who made rally will put a lot of troops but everyone else who join rally just put one troop and also you will get a lot a lot anti-serum rewards and you will also get rewards but that is little trick to do not put all all amount of troops to help rally just put one kind of troops any troop will be just fine and so the one who made rally that put a lot of troops he he will finish the rally and we, you will won the rally that is little trick in game to not everyone who joined rally to put a lot of troops because they will just die for nothing so to say okay so when making rally just put all, all kind of troops and when you want to join just put one troop as you can see like here i cannot now show you in my previous video i show you i cannot now show you how that works because no one started that rally let's see this one so for example i want to i hope you understood me so for example someone made rally and put a lot of troops to to heave in then you just join with one kind of troop so that is little trick to do not lose troops and to get a nice rewards <clears throat> okay let's help them always help your clan mates okay we're going to the next tips and tricks for you i hope you understood me i will explain you more in other 
videos of this game. Then something very interesting, little advanced tips for you. In headquarters, when you click headquarters, you can click here, sanctuary overview. And when you click here, you can see how many you have food and your resources in bag. So to say, so to know if you have enough for upgrading your buildings and researches, of course. That is a little trick that you can see statistics, how many things you have. Just clicking sanctuary, here we are, sanctuary overview, and that is little trick. Okay, then what I wanted more, I hope so, I am very fast. If you have any questions, just ask as comments, and I will try to help you in my video. Just ask as comments, and I will try to help you. Then we're going to the research, of course. Always do research, but only when you start playing this game. Always just focus on research in military and fortifications. Don't do research in development and economy because you will not need that when you start playing this game, you will not need resources that much. So just focus on military. For example, as you can see, I'm researching everything, almost everything as much as I can. And fortifications, as you can see, everything is very maximized. I research it. So you to defend very good against someone attack you and also it in military your troops will be very stronger when you when you increase attack health points and rest so you can do many things more successfully on map and defeat uh, layers uh, many many things so just focus on fortifications and military and everything will be fine and later you can focus on development and economy of course Okay, we're going to the next tips for you, what I wanted to tell you, just what I see on my paper. Of course, when you start playing this game, I advise you to do as much as you can these free daily, daily free attempts, daily free recruit. So I advise you to do as much as you can. Here we are, oh, we got nothing. So, for example, as as fast as you get these recruit tokens, just open them. As fast as you get, open them so to get higher, stronger heroes because you will need a lot of heroes in this game. So I don't want to open them because I want to make video where I together we to open when I collect enough about 50 of these advanced recruit to see what we're gonna get and how much chances is to see in that my video and there I will try with 10 to see how many I will get and with one to we see how many chances is getting is it better to open 10 or just one but you when you get those tokens you just make sure to open them because every hero you unlock will really help you and increase in your power that is the only reason I'm not so big in power because I'm not open them a lot advanced recruit for example advanced recruit tokens and something we going next tips and tricks for you that is daily task so in daily tasks here we are daily tasks here we are the last reward so here we are the last reward that you can get in daily task so here are the rewards that you get of course and the most important rewards is this advanced recruitment coin because from it you can get five star five star hero and that is why it is important to do daily task and also you can when you finish daily task you get premium you you get a uh, battle pass finished for example i already finished this is the noah pass so this is the little battle pass, as you can see I finished them, it is very easily, if you're doing daily task, it is very easily to get to highest reward. So I advise you, so why I'm talking about daily task, I advise you to finish daily task as fast as you can, as much as you can, because rewards is very very good, especially later you will need glory points, mark of glory, here you are. So, but there is trick. You cannot get this last reward in daily task until you reach your headquarters level 10. Why is that? Because, because uh, 
not so every daily task is open so for example level 15 headquarters is required to open this kind of of daily task to finish and it is not possible to finish let to get last reward if you are not level 10 in your headquarters so make sure you level up your headquarters as fast as you can so to start finishing and getting that this last reward in game also headquarters must be your goal to level up as fast as you can in this game because you will unlock everything in game very nicely and uh, you can upgrade the other buildings so i advise you to as fast as you can when you start playing this game to get to headquarters level 10 it is not so hard really it is not so hard you can very fast get to level 10 and of course you will have resources for it so don't worry you will just unlock it very level 10 and to get finally to finish all daily tasks and get this special thing that is advanced recruit token okay then we're going to the next tip for you <clears throat> let's go to the heroes of course when you get you you probably know that but it is not so often to i not so bad to tell you so every hero that have more stars than your hero for example you will have heroes with just two and three star when you play game but every hero the more hero have stars it will be better so it will be better in everything it will be better in battle it will be better in uh, if it is economy hero everything so just focus when you get stronger hero that have more stars just focus to upgrade him so for example this is my main my first hero that i got five stars then i wanted this one and just focus to upgrade one one kind of hero to the maximum so that you will also lose in use in battles so i advise you to focus on your heroes that have most stars that is your strongest heroes and forget to upgrade other heroes that is low stars so for example like this one like this one i don't want to up upgrade them at the moment because everything what i want to upgrade is these five star heroes so i can use them in battle also so that is little trick you must do that forget about weaker stars heroes they will not be used used anymore and later if you if you have a lot points you can also upgrade them but i don't advise you because you will unlock stronger heroes and you will eventually unlock stronger heroes so just focus on stronger heroes for example my stronger heroes is five stars i have four of them so i will just upgrade them all to be they be ready for battle in many things in many battles in game okay that is it so just focus on strongest your hero then what i wanted more to tell you of course in this game always do events because events will give you a lot of rewards it is not so hard to finish events so for example here we are here we are some events okay here we are events everything in game is very well described I, I must say so for example here we are some some res some event of course then we have this one event which is very interesting event so for example you have personal and here we are rewards so every every event is very often for example this is the next events that will come so try to do events as much as you can okay that is it what to explain you expect many more videos i will explain you so many things need to explain in this game okay just to see on my paper if i didn't miss something what i wanted to tell you so do events as much as you can then also of course do arena do arena as much as you can of course Ro rewards is waiting for me do arena as much as you can and do ruins as much as you can 
because rewards is very very nice here we are my rewards okay and for example here we are what you can buy i advise you to when you start playing this game to buy for example this hero it is very not expensive then we have something like this i don't advise you to spend money on this this is very good to spend money to enhance then also it is very good to any other things but boosts is not it is not so good because you can get boost from other parts in game so from other parts in game you can get a lot boost to speed up your upgrades okay <clears throat> of course always do these things for example let's do this let's finish always finish those things because rewards is very nice then what I wanted more to tell you and for end I wanted to tell you I hope so this video was very useful for you and helpful what I wanted to tell you is uh, for end of this video because I already made it too much longer and I don't want too much long window to make anymore so for thing is if you want to be uh, if you want to play this game very often if you like this game if you like this game a lot, so to say, then try to join very, very active clan. <clears throat> because, you, as you can see, you can send helps, they can send help you, they, they are more experienced than you. So I advise you to, your goal must be to be re in very, very active and very strong clan. Also, for example, why I'm saying this, because, for example, this is how much gifts you will get from active clan of course here we are uh, let's collect everything and also this clan as you can see aliens gift will be a lot bigger when more you of you your clan mates is <clears throat> active because as you can see our clan level is is 11 <laughs> and cl clan level is 11 so bigger rewards you will get from very active clan and so if you like this game of course then just look always look to find strong clan that is very active because strong clan mostly are very active of course and for end of course make sure you don donate to your clan for example let's donate here always donate that is hot because clan leader put to be important to donate to for research so always help your clan mates always for example send helps for example you will also get nice things for helps but it is also very nice to be team team member and that would be it expect many more videos about this game i cannot tell you everything because this game is so much big so many things you can do in this game so expect many many more videos about this great game that i really like until i describe every part of this game and to you be successful in this game from my tips and tricks and i will ask my and i'm also in on our clan discord and we talk about tactics and i still learning a lot a lot things are learning about this game and i will all these tell you all those tips and tricks from those very experienced members of my clan i will tell you and explain you in next videos okay see you next videos and this time if my clan mates watch this video i say to them hi i hope so you are all good and nice and that would be it see you next videos bye